I'm a PSW personal support worker. Uh, this wasn't a profession that I had chosen. It just kind of fell into my lap because uh, when I was finished high school, I didn't know what to do. So I took a year off and then my mother actually recommended it for me. She's like, um, you know, try it and see. Go to school, try it and see. And if you don't like it, um, you can figure out what else you want to do. So that's how I got to become a PSW. It's not as limiting as people think it is. Like when you're in PSW, you can work in a nursing home, you can work in a hospital, you can work in a trauma center or with um, people with brain injuries. So um, you can practically work anywhere. So you don't really have to work in a nursing home or retirement home. Plus, um, most um, employers, they encourage people to go back to school. So you will find that most employers will actually pay half of your tuition to go back to school and do nursing or add on to your PSW. I went to school at Canastoga, but um, I find that uh, PSW, it's, it doesn't have a good connotation with it, you know? It's kind of stigmatized, I would say. So when I went, when I started PSW school, I was a bit reluctant. I didn't really want to do it. I was doing it half-heartedly. And then when I was done doing my PSW school, I didn't actually start off in a nursing home. I started doing home care. So I would just go into people's homes. So I was hired by um, an agency. I will go into people's homes and I would do whatever they need me. And after that, um, I decided like um, too much traveling and it wasn't worth it. So I wanted to kind of stay in one place. So that's why I ended up at Forest Heights. Yeah, and that's where I work right now. I've been working there for about one and a half years now. Personally, I work on a dementia unit, which is which can be very unpredictable. Like some nights I would go in and it would be like dead silent, quiet. And I'll practically just sit at the desk all night doing nothing. But other nights it would be chaotic, people running around and so those will be the most interesting nights. I like the people that I work with very much. That's one of the reasons why I stay there. And I absolutely love my residents. Like you get to fall in love with these people. And sometimes you find out like their stories and it's just fascinating, their lives. Those are the two most things that I absolutely enjoy about being a personal support worker. But also um, it provided me an opportunity to kind of adjust and see where I want my life to go. Because when I had just come out of um, high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, you're 18 and they expect you to kind of organize your life and make decisions right away. You're still a teenager, right? So being a personal support worker, it kind of helped me grow and see how to deal with my life and help me decide if I really wanted to continue with uh, healthcare or not. And I have decided to continue with healthcare. So um, I just finished my nursing school. Also, like if you've been a P uh, personal support worker, usually nursing school is usually um, four years. But if you've done P uh, personal support worker, then you get to do only three years. And like I said earlier on before, most employers would find a way to pay for your tuition somehow. Not all of it, but some of it. And yeah, school can be pretty expensive. So I feel like that's a good bonus. It's physically and mentally draining, especially now. Um, we've had quite a few losses that have affected me like, personally. So that's one of the things um, that is a downside, you know? Physically and mentally, it can be challenging, but in the end, it's kind of rewarding to know that you're helping somebody. And sometimes you find that some of these family members, they come in in tears and they're thanking you of what you've done for um, their parent, you know, and their loved ones. So in the end, I feel like it's worth it for me. Think about like five years from now, what kind of jobs are going to be available? If you think about it, those jobs are going to be in healthcare service, right? Um, especially now with the COVID and, you know, the economy going down. The one thing that you can bet on is healthcare. And with um, personal support worker, it's not as limiting as people would think. Uh, you can be a personal support worker 
like in a big hospital in Toronto and you'll be working almost like a nurse. I mean, you won't give medication or needles or whatever, but you will get to experience all kinds of things. And um, I think it's a good investment if you want to look at it that way.